Hey, good day. Uh, welcome to 2012. Uh, this is our first show of the 2012 season. Um, I hope you all have had a good holidays through the through what has passed here. Uh, looking forward to this new year. Uh, here we are in January, and um, there's going to be a lot of uh, I think wonderful things happen in Lebanon uh, in West Lebanon this year. Um, we're looking forward it, uh, to it on behalf of the Lebanon city government. Um, remember, we are going to be focusing on outcomes, and you'll see this little chart as we go along. Uh, the little the little chart we we'll show it in larger print at some point, um, but basically it's public safety, excellent training, economic vitality, self-sufficient individuals and families, physical responsibility, restraint, prudent long-term stewardship of resources. We want a sustainable community here in Lebanon. Uh, we want a sense of place. We want environmental responsibility here. We want energy efficiency. We want to be healthy and well, and we, have, we want to have a cultural and learning center. Today, um, as the first show, we have a very important topic for you, uh, and that is franchise. Um, as some of you may have followed the issue of franchise in Lebanon, it goes back a ways, but it's coming uh, into some very important steps that we have initiated um, as part of our excellent planning and as part of our activities to have economic vitality uh, as well as to keep us financially uh, good stewards of, on behalf of the residents of Lebanon. Um, this goes back a ways but we'll pull up front right uh, at the initial part of our program. I, I want to make sure everyone here knows that in February there's an important event uh, for franchises. On Wednesday, February 15, 2012, Begin at 7 p.m. in the council chambers at City Hall, there's going to be a public hearing. Now, this public hearing is a part of the cable TV franchise negotiations between the City of Lebanon and the Comcast Cable Services, which is currently providing cable television services here in Lebanon. Uh, the City will hold that public hearing. Uh, we want to ascertain the future uh, cable related needs and interests of the community. Uh, we want the members of the public to be uh, inter to come. We want representatives of local businesses. We want or representatives of organizations. We're inviting them and encouraging everyone to come and to attend and provide information about what you think your future cable-related needs and interests are. Now, if you cannot attend the, the hearing, the hearing will remain open until Friday, March 16th at 2012, and written comments can be submitted until that date. Um, the record that's established by this hearing is important because it's during this process that the formation will take place as the basis for our city negotiation with Comcast. We want uh, a high quality new cable franchise agreement with, with uh, Comcast. Uh, written comments submitted prior to the hearing or up until March 16th could be forwarded to my executive assistant, Paula Mayville, and that's at City Hall. Uh, and she, she sent it also by via email. Their email is on our website. You can send it to Paula. Our Paula, May, and that's that e -site, email site is Paula Mayville at lebcity.com. Or just send it by standard mail to the city of Lebanon. Attention, Paula Mayville. M Mayville is M A Y M A V I A L L E at 51 North Park Street, Lebanon, New Hampshire, 03766. I'll come back and, and do that a little more later. If you want to talk to Paula and get some information, you can call 448-4220 for more information. I'll come back and do that, but how did we get to the point of having a public hearing? Well, I guess some of you may recall that when I arrived here last year, and I came and I arrived, my first day of work was like February 28th, 2011. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of rapidly approaching my anniversary date by one year. Um, I've spent 19 years, of course, other places as a manager, but this has been a great first year. Um, I can't express my appreciation as much. It just is beyond um, my words as to what to say to citizens of, of, of Lebanon. That you certainly have welcomed myself and my wife to this great city and this great community. Um, we live over in West Leb, work in Leb. It's just a wonderful place to be. Um, but when I came, I, there was a question posed to me as part of the priorities of being the new manager. How about a franchise? Well, I looked into the situation, and it's been historically, uh, you know, quite a long, long little journey on franchise in Lebanon. Uh, Lebanon, in fact, goes back to a single-page document, which is a resolution giving um, a cable operator at the time 
the right to, to operate in the city in a resolution format. Now that is not a franchise agreement and that certainly doesn't meet federal law. Um, this would have to be argued to be a grandfathering type document. Um, this this one pager, you know, in this complicated world we live, and anytime anyone enters a, pro a public right of way, um, that's land that belongs to the people, the residents of Lebanon. So when you enter that, you have to have so you have to have the permission of the of, of the people through their elected representatives to enter into that right of way, and you have to have proper terms and conditions to protect the residents of Lebanon. Uh, so I looked at that, and I had been involved in my past. Um, in, in my role as a manager and previously as a municipal attorney in the, in the issue of franchises. So we looked into it. Um, I think it's a complicated, specialized field. Um, it requires specialized legal advice and counsel. And so I went about looking at the situation, and there's a few principles that need to be uh, looked upon, and this is what led us to this public hearing. Um, when a municipality does want to or enter into a franchise, not a simple resolution one pager, you have to go through a process, and the process has to be by federal law. A little more on that later, but in in going through the process, they have what they call an ascertainment hearing, and that's really what we're having coming up. Isn't that a strange word, ascertainment hearing? Uh, I I know sometimes people use words that would be a lot simpler. Ascertain, ascertain what? Oh, to find out, you know, find out what the, what the interest of the community is in terms of the future of, of the utilization of public property for the purpose of franchising cable. Now, this, uh, this ascertainment hearing must uh, bring in all the concerned residents, uh, bring in uh, businesses, uh, other jurisdictions, school districts, and municipal departments. Um, and you need to find out if there's any terms that are when you go to an ascertainment uh, hearing as to what exists. Well, in Lebanon, what exists is, is uh, a one-pager, so it's not detailed at all. And so we are really st starting from a point of scratch. Um, we have to look at this, and, and really we've got to get involved, and that's why we want citizens to come to this hearing. We want businesses to participate. We want school districts to participate, because this is an opportunity to build the record for our community on what we our expectations are for a preferred future to have a franchise operate in our public right-of-way for the purposes of, of providing cable. Uh, of course, they also nowadays, the Comcast uh, provides also, they provide other, other services. They provide phone services. They provide internet services. So they're, there's, they're pretty, pretty diverse and, and very robust operation. So this is very complicated and, and it's important to get involved. Citizen engagement in this is essential. The ascertainment hearing has to be held because this agreement, the ascertainment hearing, will bring out the record which will become the basis for the agreement we're going to negotiate with Comcast. Um, we would have to take the proper steps to ensure the information about the hearing is, is, is sent out. We have sent uh, letters to businesses, to school districts. We've put out notices to employ to, uh, to the public. We also sent notices. There's some people in our community whose families are, are feeling, um, you know, lack of access to cable. And this is a, this has impact on their lives, on the kids' school life. And this has been very, very important to them as a family and a matter of really high importance. So we, would, we try to let everybody know about this public hearing. Once we receive the responses at the ascertainment hearing, these will become responses that we will analyze and build a base to work with the Comcast and that will provide an analysis of, of what is needed here to make this the best uh, high quality uh, franchise agreement we can. We'll work with, with, franchi with Comcast. Uh, it will be a, a very civil and very professional negotiation process. We have legal counsel. Uh, who are skilled uh, specialists in the area of uh, franchise law. Our legal counsel, uh, in fact, has negotiated 70, uh, 70, type of, 70 franchises with Comcast. So I felt it's imperative that we have somebody that comes in and works with us that has a lot of experience. And that's, kind of, that's exactly what we did and when, I, and when I approached the council last year. Um, first thing was needed to be able to build some history and to share with you a little bit about the history of this situation it is first the fundamentals of a franchise. Uh, the fundamentals of franchise is governed by what is called Section 626 of the Federal Cable Act. 
Uh, broadly speaking, the franchise authority the city has to determine whether granting a franchise uh, re is, uh, is related properly to the future cable-related community needs and interests of the municipality. And we need to review the present performance of the cable operator under any existing franchise agreements. Well, we only have a one-page resolution, so there's not much standards by which to weigh this. But I think in terms of the fact basis, through the testimony of you as citizens and businesses in our community and schools in our community, you can let us know about what you think about the performance of Comcast in our community. Uh, more specifically, the franchise authority must evaluate the re in doing a franchise with, a, with regard to the following factors. Now these factors, um, I think, are, are the critical four. The, and, and the critical four factors are whether the cable operator has substantially complied with the material terms of any existing franchise and with applicable law. Well, since we only have a one-page resolution, there's not much in terms of a, an existing franchise. In fact, it's very inadequate. So we have to make sure under this standard that the, that the operator, in this case Comcast, has complied with the applicable law, and that's the federal law and case law under the federal law, with regard to their operations. The second factor that's very important is whether the quality of the operator's services, including the signal quality, the response to consumer complaints, and billing practices, disregarding the mix of, uh, of the services, at the that that quality or that level of the cable services are adequate, and that the services are adequate to provide provided over the system, and that they've been reasonable in light of community needs. Basically, we want to make sure the quality of the service is adequate to the community needs. That was the second factor. The third factor is whether the cable operator has financial, legal, and technical ability to provide the services, facilities, and equipment set forth in the operator's proposal. Well, in this case, it's the current operation of Comcast. And they've been quite robust, as you see, uh, the operation of Comcast. They, they um, are quite um, very complex and sophisticated providers of service. They have certainly appear to have financial, legal, and uh, ability to meet the needs of the community in terms of technical needs. Uh, but there are areas that uh, citizens need to comment on, businesses need to comment on, and schools need to comment on as to whether they're going to meet all the needs of the community now and, and in the preferred future. Because these, these franchises are, are, are multiple-year franchises, so they're not a short a short duration. There are a longer duration, and as part of the negotiation, the length of that duration of that of that franchise wouldn't surprise franchises to have ten-year franchises. So this is uh, you know a point in time where it's very significant that you you we must get your uh, input and your understandings, uh, and and we must build a record for you as the residents of Lebanon and any businesses in Lebanon and any schools in Lebanon must uh, help us build this record. Um, Finally, we must understand whether the operator's proposal, their present operation, and what they propose in the future. And you may get correspondence from Comcast from occasionally, and I think most of us do, showing where they're updating or upgrading. But we want to make sure that their services that they propose for our community is reasonable to meet the future cable-related community needs and interests of Lebanon, taking into account the cost of meeting those services and interests. Um, now, so that, that's the four factors, so we have to keep those in mind, you know. Basically, we're really clear on what the factors are. They can, must comply with the law, and if we, once we have a franchise in effect, they must comply with it. Uh, they must have good quality. Uh, they must have financial, legal, and technical abilities. And they must have a, have a, a proposal for their operation now and in the future here that's reasonable and that meets the community needs. And that's you, residents, that needs that you have. Now, how we get to the franchise, there's a formal way and there's an informal way. Well, because of the nature of the city's uh, one-page resolution, uh, we have to go, the formal way would mean if someone already had a formal franchise agreement, we'd go through a set formal process to review that agreement with certain notice requirements. Well, because of, of this uh, limitation that, the, that Lebanon has in the one-pager, we really have to go through the informal method, which is the informal method is uh, contains most on um, pretty much the equivalent components of the formal, but but there's less structure in terms of some of the procedures and notices. There's two requirements for it. 
Um, they, the, the Comcast and our operator must uh, provide us with what they set out as what their franchise should be, and they should become begin an informal process with us. Um, the second thing is that the franchising authority, authority that's the city of, of Lebanon, that's, some, that's called the franchise authority, the city of Lebanon must afford the public, that is you, residents of Lebanon, adequate notice and an opportunity to comment before granting or denying the franchise that we're going to be considering here. Now, when we first started back there in the this summer, after the spring I reviewed this whole matter, um, there was some question, well, will we have to, how will Comcast feel about entering into our discussions and dialogues through this informal process and whether they would feel comfortable in pursuing that, that process with us. And the answer is yes. Um, the professionally, our attorney has communicated with their key um, players. Uh, I'm going to be working with the, the Comcast key players. Um, they are communicating very civilly and very professionally. And though that communication door is open, and now we have to hear from the public uh, through our, note, our public hearing, our ascertainment hearing, to ascertain from you, to find out from you uh, about these things that we need to know so that when we talk with Comcast that we really have a record that says what you want so that we bring it to the table uh, to, to share that record that you want uh, from, from Comcast. And we'll have this great dialogue with Comcast in this, this negotiation process through this informal process. Um, a lot of this is going to involve a lot of good analysis of the franchise agreement. That's why we have a real professional uh, with the, the attorney we, we, we have, uh, Rob Sandalo. And um, he's who has done, like I said earlier, 70 uh, franchise agreements with Comcast. Um, he'll be working with me and with our other our, our city leadership and with the, the council to make sure this happens in an appropriate way. Um, there'll have to be these presentations that we're going to be giving at the hearings. Um, there'll have to be an evaluation of what what the contrasting uh, proposals might be. Um, we'll have it. We have a schedule developed now that's going to follow a certain very set pattern uh, to follow through and complete the franchise. Um, in the in the specific uh, entertainment program that we were talking about, we want to have. Uh, Individual interested people, uh, interested stakeholders, schools, businesses, and we also want the general public to be very interested. Uh, we want to make sure we have a proper uh, look at surveying and understanding the community input. Uh, facilitating this process is what we're, we're all about right now. Um, we hope to have a very uh, good proposal, an excellent quality franchise proposal. Um, the agenda that we're working on is is in the is been you know kind of laid out there. Uh, we're beginning it with this uh, upcoming February 15th public hearing. Um, I think that um, we've overcome a lot of the things with regard to the existing one-page resolution because we're now talking about a fully professional, high-quality franchise agreement. Um, in our meetings with our uh, attorneys, he's given us some good insight into what franchises are about. And, and we have had work topics about franchises. And, and just to share with you, because you need to start thinking about this yourself for giving us input as members of the public or if you're a business person or if you're a member of the school uh, system or maybe the college system. Um, we want to make sure about Comcast compliance with the franchise and applicable law, uh, the quality of the Comcast service, Comcast f financial, legal, and technical ability to provide the services and support the infrastructure, and Comcast capabilities and costs of meeting the future cable-related community needs in our community. Um, of course, as I said before, this whole process is going to involve analysis, evaluation, education, training, the ascertainment process I've talked about, and direct negotiations. There's a revenue aspect into it, and that's the franchise fee. But the essential thing about franchise is that your your inner is that Comcast, as any uh, cable operator, would be entering into the public right of way. That they have to have uh, that right to come into the right of way approved through our the proper elected democratic uh, leaders. In this case, our city council. And uh, in return for that, the city council want to make sure that 
we just don't want to have anyone go into a public right away without the, the obligations, terms, and conditions being very clear. That's really the fundamental thing about a franchise. Um, the fee thing is another aspect of it, whether fees and what fees should be cha uh, charged. Uh, they, these fees will be passed on through the billing uh, system of Comcast. So the, the council will be weighing these things with your input from yourselves. Um, using the right of way by, Fran by Comcast, there's going to have to be conditions on it. And one of the things we want to be concerned about is extension of service to customers, factoring in the population density and the allocation of cost between Comcast and its customers. Uh, the cable access throughout the city of Lebanon is very important to us. You know, this is really becoming, you know, almost magical the way uh, our electronic systems have come out to transfer data and voice. Um, here's Comcast, you know, doing both uh, cable, TV, uh, phone, uh, and internet. Um, this, thi this thing also sets the stage for not just Comcast, but there will probably be some competition in the future between other vendors and maybe Comcast and another vendor of vendors. And so what we're doing is trying to create a standard here in, in Lebanon through your engagement as citizens participating. We want to have a standard by which uh, all, all parties in the future come into Lebanon and go into the right-of-way for these types of services of cable, TV, phone, and uh, with regards to, to Internet, that broadband. These are things that we want to make sure there's good standards. Our attorney, uh, Rob uh, Zendela, he, he talked a little more and gave us some more clarification about it. Um, he, he said things like a cable franchise is a license to allow Comcast to use public property and right-of-ways. It is governed by state and federal law and is tied to economic development because to, to be the kind of place we want to be, the sustainable community we want to be is that we need to make sure that everything we do when we use the right of way that there's an economic development impact we need to understand evaluate and analyze and make the best possible recommendations to protect ourselves as a community um, in terms of, uh, of what it might be in terms of uh, the kind of single revenue stream from video for video programming there's really a whole bunch of different things going on there with the services I mentioned earlier about um, the the they're regulating a variety of ways. Now, the video streaming, the cable TV is it's controlled by the city through the franchise agreement under this franchise approach. The telephone that's uh, also provided as a service through uh, Comcast and similar type of uh, providers is regulated by the New Hampshire Public Utilities Commission. And the internet is by the FCC as an interstate information service. So there, this whole thing of, of the service is a bit complicated, but if you don't have a franchise as part of it, you're missing a piece of what would be pro, a kind of appropriate community-based uh, public um, interest type of, uh, of control the right-of-way. And so therefore, a franchise is really essential. Um, he, he talked about the first task was to get Comcast to the table, which he, Rob, has now achieved. Uh, we had some discussions about the legalities, agreements, et cetera, in our previous conversations with him. Um, I think that, that, that he, Rob, is a very practical attorney and worked with the council, and they are requiring some good accountability that we go through these stages by stages. We reached, we went through the first stage, established our relationship and working with Comcast in a civil and professional manner. That's been done. Now we're going to the next stage of the ascertainment hearing, and that's being done. So each stage we're kind of monitoring the costs involved for legal counsel and what we're trying to achieve. And that's all going to be accountable through um, myself as a city manager and to the council and as they provide the policy oversight in such approach. Um, Looking at it uh, about what this is all about, he, I think that the, the attorney described it well uh, in terms of why, why we're doing this. Um, he said it, and uh, Rob, our attorney, said it, is that someone is using the city property. Someone is using the city property. And the city has the right to license that use. So that makes sense. You, know, you wouldn't want someone to use city property and not to license that use. 
Because that property, everything that we base our, our operation on in terms of outcomes is the outcomes must serve the public. So any outcome that we engage in that concretely happens on the ground must be something in, in furtherance of the public interest. So, so therefore, you, you, we won't have a license if you're going to use city property. In um, terms of, of where we're going to go, uh, I think we want to be fair. We're going to be fair with Comcast, um, we're going to, but we're going to be very protective and accountable to the public for the operation of cable in our system. Uh, questions that we have, we, we've sent out letters to various businesses. We sent it to the school district, we sent it to individuals. Uh, we're asking you to get engaged in the work with regard to a cable TV franchise agreement here with Comcast. Uh, remember that hearing is on February 15th and it's 7 o'clock. It's a great time to find out what our future needs are. We have sent specific questions to persons and to businesses and to school districts. And these specific questions are, if, do you have a plan about the technology? Uh, how does it fit in whether you're a business? What's it in your business plan? A school district, how does it fit in your school district to have cable access TV here? Um, how's it going to fit you as an individual? What are your needs for that cable? What do you think should be the best thing you could have for your cable TV? Um, and in those plans, how could you utilize the cable system? Is there some businesses, is there anyone out there that has some new plans for how to utilize cable TV to help deliver your services? Um, now, our fine partners here at CATV are using gr a great many of the, the cable aspects here to do some wonderful work in learning and education, and we have interns here working for, the, for our great partner, CATV. Um, this is all part of a learning experience, but this is also providing help, help people learn job skills. Help people learn skills that will help them improve the competencies they need in life anymore with, with the use of cable. Um, so this is a chance. If you have plans, please share them. Please get involved. Come to the public hearing and say, here's our plans we might have. Here's what we would like to do. Um, is there any, any, any information, data, that you're, you want to be shared through a cable, uh, cable television system? Uh, if you're planning to distribute data through you, I think this might be an option for you in your business, in your, in your personal goals, or in your schools, the goals of your schools, let us know. Um, is there any plans for some virtual type of activity where using the cable system is there? You know, think of all the things our, our cable access television does. Are, are these things you, that you think we should really, really be supportive of? New things on the horizon. Um, this high-speed internet. It's amazing how fast you can move data and voice across this high-speed system. Uh, is there anything in your plans that would say that you would like us to convey to Comcast about what they should be providing us, and us being the citizens of, of, of Lebanon and West Lebanon. Um, do, do you ha think there are some other educational things that could be done for students, for parents uh, through using the cable TV system? Um, would you be interested in exploring more, uh, more possibilities in our region for, for local access on our television networks? Um, this is a very important thing. It's being placed into the internal systems of our, of our community. Um, this, is, this is a tool that we have to grasp. There are a number of different approaches in the broadband area. Uh, cable access television is one of the really important things we're considering. Um, I think this is a time to get involved, to get engaged. It follows through on the city's commitment to be really an you know, outcome-based uh, community, an outcome-based city government. Um, this outcome of, uh, is that by the end of the year we want to be in a good position to come forward with a proposed franchise agreement. There will be a public hearing on the eventual agreement, so there will be still time. But, you know, there's the old saying about those who show up are, are those that really get, are able to have their, um, their information, their influence. Get a chance to influence what's going on around you. Sometimes we, we don't want to be uh, feeling in our community of, of, of lack of power. We want to empower, enable everyone to get involved. 
So I look forward uh, to seeing you all on the February 15th public hearing at 7 o'clock. Uh, it'll be in City Hall, so, so please do attend. And if you can't attend, provide us some written testimony and just send it to, to City Hall, to City Manager's Office. Uh, and you look at that website, and remember, always use our website. All right, we have a grand website. Uh, and the more you use um, our, our, our lebcity.com website, the better off we're all going to be. And uh, this is going to be a great year. It's a good way to talk, start it out positive about people engaged, about new technologies, uh, about uh, doing things in the public interest to do it locally and do it based on outcome, uh, outcomes that, that, are, that are meaningful in your lives and provide you value. Thanks. Uh, it's great to kick off 2012. Uh, I'm looking for every time we do it. We'll, we'll be doing these uh, our shows twice a month. Uh, I look forward to these conversations. Thank you.